What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and as we're unboxing and setting up the Spirit Halloween 2023 Emmeline animatronic. Emmeline, 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 I don't know. I'm gonna say Emmeline. Um this is a time lapse. Some of it's cut out, some of it's weird. I um there's also some things that happen at the end which are fun, so if you wanna I guess <laughs> stay tuned for that. I, I don't wanna be that cringy YouTuber, but um Overall original thoughts, this is one of the first techie props I've ever bought, and I have like 25 animatronics. I mean, I had Death Row, I have, um, Rattling Crypt, which is techie. The techie props I have aren't anything crazy, and I had never been like a techie person, I was like, eh, I don't know. But this, honestly, the setup was a little, it wasn't tough, but it was hard for one person, because there's like some, just with spirit props in general, the like metal will bend for you, and it just, it doesn't work very well because if it's like a thing that's specific it, it just doesn't work but uh so i had to have some help with some things with that but i mean overall like techie is honestly out of the spirit companies the closest to like anything professional level like this thing is insane especially for i mean 280 is an absolute steal i'm not even gonna lie like mr dark now this i mean they're they're going crazy and i think they did the pneumatics if i'm correct although i'm not sure on that but um yeah, I'm still taking it out. <laughs> Freaking the twist ties gave me nightmares. But, um, yeah. I mean, overall, it's probably one of my favorite props I own. Um, however, I will say there's one part that when I was trying to take it apart, it's a spring pin, so it shouldn't be bad. We can't get it out. <laughs> we tried everything. It comes with a tool, which is nice, but that didn't work. Uh, literally, like, pulling on it full force didn't work two people didn't work it's completely stuck so um yeah but overall i mean it's good prop i i don't have a ton to say but i i start with you know putting the base together and i will later end up moving this into the grass because it almost freaking falls over on me and i was gonna move it into the grass anyway so i could stake it in the ground instead of putting weights on it to worry about the thing freaking flinging the weights across the room but well not a room because it's outside but um, yeah, so you'll, you'll see a lot of this kind of pausing where I'm just like, hmm, what do I do here? Um, but because I have to get pieces out of the boxes and stuff, there's the, it's just kind of starting. There's the mech, um, goes in There's, I don't even know where the step I missed was. You'll see, oh, I, I have spoiled something. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of a, it's almost like a scissor mech, but I don't know if it is. You'll see it in a minute here. It's weird looking. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Also, the mech, I, I noticed it after I picked it up. You'll see a cut in this. Oh, you might not even notice it. But, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I got freaking, like, the oil or whatever they use all over my hands. Because it, uh, put it, they put it on the mech, so it obviously slides better. Uh, so, yeah, that was an experience. But, you see me here just kind of... I don't even know, starting putting the pieces together. I said before things get too crazy, but, um, yeah, and then you'll get, I don't even know, a lot of me staring at the instructions in the corner of the screen. Maybe you'll see, maybe you won't. Uh, yeah, this setup took me about 35, 40 minutes. It wasn't terrible. The only parts that were hard about it was, well, um, like, when it gets later on, things get a little bit, like, top-heavy and stuff. But, yeah, overall great animatronic i don't really have a ton of complaints this is a part that i struggled on um you have to use these like the um what are they called oh my god the little clips svi uses them sometimes too like underworld clown has them but you have to put these like flat poles on the back one i could not get on to save my life <laughs> i got it like halfway on and then i it, it failed but uh yeah so I ended up, I think, taking a cut at some point here, and I ended up getting it. But there was another one later that I had the same issue with. But um, I ended up getting it because we took the part off and then put it back on, <laughs> and it, it worked. So it's that's the thing that I was saying earlier with, like, the metal bends with the props because it's not obviously the greatest metal, and you'll get situations like this to where you can't get a piece in. I have this with Underworld, too. Every year we have this issue. There's this one side where we literally had to bend it out of shape with, like, tools to get it to fit. It was so annoying. Uh, but... Yeah. 
so I'm, I'm just, here's me struggling on it for a minute until I end up cutting it in a moment. But, yeah, fully white metal, which I like with the uh, white clothes. It would have been interesting, though. With the way the cloth is, I wish they almost made the poles black and just had her as the, like, floating ghost part of it. Because the back cloth really... Oh, look, dog reveal. Um, <laughs> he kind of came out because I, I went inside to wash my hands to get the freaking oil off. But the the way the cloth is, you'll see, it just it looks like two separate pieces, and it doesn't work very well. That's my only complaint, I think, with it, is that, um that cloth being like because the it's two different pieces which could work but the way that they connect it's like the bottom still looks like a different piece it's really weird you'll see it and i actually noticed this when i watched demos i was like huh that's not how i imagined it and it in person it it, it made more sense in person but it was still like bro also i freaking put the cloth on backwards you'll see that or inside out you'll see that later but uh, I had to take it apart anyways, because I'm not fitting a freaking seven-foot-tall thing that lunges three feet out in my, uh, anywhere, frankly. But, uh, yeah. Here's the me putting on the mech. You'll see I have to readjust the camera. I am the only one for this. I'm hoping if I get a different one, it won't be this style and it'll be me and, uh, I don't know, animatronic guy or something. Just vibing. And he'll be recording for me, because I obviously have issues. There's the- you'll see it- you see it dangling there, that's the piece that I had- oh no, it wasn't actually that one. But it's something with that later on, where that connects into the mech, I believe? Or that might be the one that I missed. That might be the one that I missed. There was one that I- it's like, you can see it at the base a little bit in the middle. It's, um... It's like this kind of hinged piece, and it's very short, and I missed it. I missed connecting it, so... <laughs> You'll see the effects that has later, because I recorded a demo before I'd realized, and I was like, yeah, no, that's not right. So, uh, I did end up fixing it later. But again, it's not a one-person thing, for sure. Like, there's a lot of steps that I just, I don't have the, really the reach to be able to, and I'm not, like, short. Like, I'm, I'm six feet tall. I didn't have the reach still and the strength to actually hold it up so I could readjust pieces. It, it's hard, but... Hopefully for Halloween, this is definitely going to be the spooky prop. Yeah, there you see, it starts to fall on me. And I'm like, wait, hold on. I thought it was something to do with the pull there. And then I, um... I soon realized that wasn't the case, and that was the pull that I was missing, which probably wouldn't have stopped. No, it would have helped, but... Um, yeah. This was the point that I realized, like, okay. I should stake this thing down. Okay, so, yeah, that pull connects... That was the one that I struggled with, and there you see we move locations, and here's a nice image of what we got going on, and I'm connecting the arms at this point, and again, you'll notice she's looking really far down, I mean, she looks down and she, like, pops her head up, but, like, she's, like, looking at the ground, she's contemplating life at this point, which isn't right at all, if you've seen her or seen any videos on her before, but, uh, yeah, also, you see the arms are, like, weird, I don't know why they did that, I don't even know how that happened, because that shouldn't be related, but, um, yeah. Thankfully, I didn't break her by screwing it up, which is good. Uh, yeah, I guess, I don't really know. How, I guess I'll talk about other prop purchases, I'm thinking. Really, the only one I have in mind right now is, like, Costco Mummy. He looks awesome. If I can get him, that'd be cool. I've thought about Darling Dolly. I've thought about, um, what's his face? It's Deathstalker, but, eh. He's too basic. Well, I say that. He's $280, and I don't want to spend that again online, because I did have to pay for shipping for uh, Emma Line here. But yeah, there's me kind of being like, hmm, that's not right. And then I, um... I think I'm... Yeah, I'm trying to fiddle with the cloth at this point, and this is when I realized I uh, had it entirely wrong, because basically, it wasn't very clear in the instructions, so I was like, okay, let me just drape it around. I didn't realize there was a hole in the middle, so that was really stupid of me. So I ended up just being able to slide it over her head and have no problems. But then that's when I realized, frick, it's inside out. So. We learn for next time, guys. We learn for next time, boys. So yeah, there, there's me dragging it over her head. Definitely not the intended method, but a method nonetheless. And then there's these little hooks kind of things. Oh, you see, I have a visitor in the background, if you saw, which I think I cut out here and then finish it. But, um, Yeah. 
Oh uh, yeah, so this is the end of the video. Uh, you'll see a reaction from uh, my mother, a uh, rare mother appearance in a video. Um, but yeah, you'll see her react, or you'll hear it at least. And then you'll get an actual demo, and that'll be the end. So yeah, that being said, thank you guys so much if you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night. Enjoy the demo, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Oh god, here it comes.